Hey, welcome back. In this video, I wanna talk about modern security operations. And to do that, I'm gonna use some slides from the Microsoft Cybersecurity Reference Architecture deck that Mark Simos at Microsoft created. So join me over at the Surface Hub and let's go through the story of modern security operations. All right, so let's jump into it. So while a highly technical discipline, security operations or SecOps is first a human-centric function that empowers people with technology rather than trying to replace people. And modern security operations technology helps extend human skills and expertise across today's multi-cloud and hybrid environments to meet the threats posed by adaptable human attackers and their automated tools. Now, because serious cyber attacks often happen in near real time with human attack operators, success metrics for security operations should focus heavily on the time attackers have in the environment and help defenders reduce that time. And so while no metric is perfect, these measurement tools help security operations align to organizational risk goals and drive healthy behaviors. So when it comes to something like effectiveness, that is mean time to remediate, or MTTR. And that's an incident that can measure how long it takes to remove an active risk from the environment. But around response of this, that's where we look at mean time to acknowledge, or MTTA. And that's uh, an alert measures how long it takes before a human analyst responds to a high quality detection. And then around alert quality, this is measuring the quality of alert feeds that helps to ensure that security analysts don't waste their time and effort on false positives or false alarms. And hey, as we know, chasing false positives is both an ineffective use of the time, but is also tiring and frustrating and demoralizing. Now, because filtering low quality alert feeds means some legitimate detections may get ignored, along with large amount of false positive, organizations should also implement a proactive threat, ha threat hunting practice to have senior analysts search through the lower quality alert feeds to proactively hunt for undetected adversaries. Now, this could be a part-time duty of a security analyst, or it could be a full-time threat hunting role, which would also search many other data sources with a hypothesis-driven approach. So let's talk about the classic approach to security operations. Now, historically, SecOps focused on collecting as much activity and event log data from the environment as they could in a security incident and event management or SIM solution. Now, while collection is an important foundational step, this often led to a collection is not detection problem, where few actionable insights were gleaned from the data collected. Now, queries authored by human analysts help derive detections of malicious attacks, but these queries often generated many false positive alerts because of the static nature of the queries and the dynamic nature of attacks and ever increasing volume and variety of data sources. So with these false positives, they're a waste of precious time of our security analyst. And this takes them away from managing real security incidents and attacks. So this is where we wanna start looking at deep insights and leveraging threat intelligence. And so a huge leap forward for security operations effectiveness and efficiency comes from the introduction of extended detection response or XDR tools, a trend that started with endpoint detection response or EDR tools like Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Now I did some videos on this earlier around XDR, so be sure to check out my channel for that. Now these XDR tools provide deep visibility into specific asset types and provide enhanced detection response and recovery capabilities, notably high quality alerts that have low false positive rates. Now these high quality alerts allow analysts and hunters to spend more time on mitigating real risk, which is the enjoyable part of the job, and less time chasing false positives and writing and maintaining queries. And so XDR tools like Microsoft 365 Defender and Azure Defender provide these efficiencies by focusing on individual asset types like an endpoint operating system or an identity system or a cloud productivity application or a database, so on and so forth. And it incorporates things like asset specific data sources like endpoint in memory scans or snippets of relevant network traffic on domain controllers but also things like deep knowledge of asset specific attacks like pass the hash or pass the golden ticket or endpoint antivirus evasion. 
and things like threat intelligence and leveraging those 8 trillion signals coming from the Microsoft Intelligence Security Graph and being able to leverage machine learning and user and entity behavioral analytics that are tuned specifically to those asset types and attacks. Now, this is where my favorite part comes in, and this is around the automation. And so the next step here is taking the step for another key element for empowering security operations comes when you adopt security orchestration, automation, and remediation, or SOAR technologies, and you integrate those with other tool sets and you know, put them together. And so with this, this helps you reduce manual work for security analysts and other roles with seamless experiences. Manual steps take time away from meaningful work and erode analyst morale. And honestly, they would rather be fighting the bad guys than copying and pasting between tools and consoles. But this also allows you to speed up your response time because the automation happens at machine speed rather than human speed. And it also allows you to scale your security operations to meet that growing volume of attacks and the increased scope and complexity of these modern multi-cloud hybrid enterprises. And so Microsoft and through the tools here will focus on automation integration by embedding SOAR technologies throughout the tools, both inside the XDR platform, but also inside things like Sentinel. But it also provides you a single Microsoft 365 Defender console so for that XDR platform, I can see a single pane of glass there, along with APIs and natively integrating with other tools like Azure Sentinel. Now, this is where Azure Sentinel comes in. And so Azure Sentinel is a cloud-native SIM that complements XDR tooling by providing broad visibility across XDR tools and log and data sources from any platform, cloud, application, or device. And so in addition to traditional SIM functionality of static analysis of event logs, Azure Sentinel incorporates SOAR and machine learning and user entity behavioral analytics, Jupyter Notebooks, Threat Intel, all sorts of great stuff. But it also allows you to leverage things like Azure Data Explorer for that lower cost archival of large volumes of data. But it also allows you to do really cool stuff like send data from Azure Defender for IoT be sure to check out my videos on that for monitoring your operational technology or OT environment. But the other part of all of this is getting that expert assistance when you need it, because none of us is as smart as all of us. So succeeding against the connected ecosystem of attackers requires defenders, you, to work together as a community using shared intelligence, insights, and expertise. And so this is where you can leverage things like Microsoft Threat Experts. And that's a managed hunting service built right into Microsoft 365 Defender that provides security operations centers and analysts with expert level monitoring and analysis to help them ensure that critical threats in the environments don't get missed. And then leveraging things like Microsoft's Detection and Response Team or DART Team for incident response and recovery services. And then also leveraging some of the Microsoft partners out there that have built MDR or managed detection and response services. All right, so that is modern security operations. Pretty cool, right? Special thanks to Mark Simos at Microsoft who created these slides and made this possible. Great job, Mark. If you found value in this video, give me a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And be sure to click subscribe because I do have more videos coming. All right, everybody. Well, hey, stay tuned. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.